All right, everyone, it's a new day, and today I'm gonna clean up the car a bit more uh, on the interior this time. I got some supplies, chemical guys, um, stain extractor. This is a diluted bottle of chemical guys. I think it's their carpet shampoo or something like that. And I have their brush as well. So we're gonna go through that. Also, have all of these fluids ready to ready to change. So, spark plugs that Amazon sent me uh, six extras of when I got eight new ones for for this GX. So I'm actually just gonna use those today and get two new ones from the store and some nonsense from Chemical Guys as well. And if that's not enough, I have some of this whatever stain extractor. We're just gonna see what works. In addition, fogging oil to spray down the cylinder walls before attempting to start. Um, also, the Amazon gas siphon pump or whatever. Let's see what we can do with this interior. I showed you before, but uh, it's kind of gross. But fundamentally not bad. It's just things like that. It's just like <laughs> gnarly in some places. And it smells. So, we're gonna get all that taken care of today, though. Yeah, let's get into it. Alright, here's the first step. Oh man, that's a spider web. How did they get in here? Okay. Let's see if there's any fun stuff under there. No? Okay. Ooh. I don't need to be lubricated. These don't look too terrible. Oh, that's not a good sound. This one's this one's actually not missing the handle. These usually fall out. Mark Levinson sound system, baby. Let's see if we even have this toolkit. We do. Awesome. And this medical first aid kit looks much better than the one in my current GX or the the one over there. So I might just uh, upgrade my own with a few of these parts. And look at. Oh man. <coughs> sand. Whoa, that's a lot of sand. <laughs> so, maybe they're going to make the back of the truck into their own personal beach or something? What? Why, why is this full of sand? I don't... What? Well, definitely going to need a strong vacuum cleaner for this. So while we're going, I'm gonna spray down the leather with some of this McGuire stuff. And I guess let's start with the driver's seat. This seat is probably gonna soak up every bit of the moisture in this compound. So it's gonna need several passes. That cleaned up pretty dang good. Uh, there's some parts of it that still look factory fresh especially these rear seats I took them down those things have never been open and it looks like these have been closed up for years fronts are not too bad not too bad yeah this one's kind of bad but the rears are all good now it's time to move on to carpets which I'm not looking forward to in fact I might try to do like the interior plastics first everything just so I can unstickify all that gross stuff with the chemical guys nonsense, non-odor cleaner. I've used it before, it, it works pretty good. And uh, yeah, let's get going. Wow. See, look at, the, look at this stuff work, man. It's pretty good. That's, that is some gnarly, sticky garbage right there. Let's keep going. Eh, I should probably use leather cleaner on that, but whatever. Uh, 
All right, it's cleaning up pretty good. I'm gonna keep going on this. Okay, so far it's looking awesome. This stuff just melts away that grease. I'm super happy with especially how the switch panel is turning out. Just spray a little bit down in there and it cleans up real good. There was so much stuff caked on back here and uh, just got it right off. So let's do a little, little demo here. Now the compound is good. Check that out. Wow. Look at that, it's disappearing. But the number one active ingredient is gonna be elbow grease. So if you got that, you can actually do a pretty good job with uh, most interior plastics and stuff. Wow, look at that. Just totally, totally cleaned it off. Might have to pop these off to get them properly cleaned. But uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you updated. I do want to move to stuff like this. It's really bothering me. Definitely get the steering wheel cleaned up. It is completely caked. Now, I did use nonsense on this leather piece, which, yes, I'm sorry, it's not the right thing. I feel terrible about it, but I did later go over it with some of that Meguiar's leather cleaner, so hopefully you'll forgive me. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna just keep going on this and keep you updated along the way. All right, we made some good progress on the speakers. Cleaned up all of the gunk that was dripping down here. This cleaned up real nice. Um, these turning signal stocks cleaned right up. They were full of grime. And that uh, chemical guy stuff just seems to melt it away. So that's really good, really promising sign. Um, did this one as well. But you can see here is an example of some part I did not clean. That stuff is all over the place here. I just have to get every bit of surface area. I've started up here, you know, just went over it quickly. And it's starting to clean up really nicely. I went all the way down to, to these controls. And you can see I didn't quite get in right there around the, but I got on top of it and it's starting to clean up now. I need to start getting into this area, which is looking less than ideal. Look at, you can see the shifter is looking mighty nasty. It may seem impossible to clean the shift boots, but it's really not that difficult. All you need to do is unscrew the shift knobs from both of them and pull the leather taut so that it reveals all the space that was formerly buried kind of down under out of your reach. It exposes all the leather to the chemical guy's stuff and then you're able to clean everything out. Okay, I've given it a good cleaning now. And as you've seen in the time lapse, there were some really tough spots. I still got a little bit to go down here and it's kind of messed up so I might not be able to clean that off, but man, it looks a whole lot better than it did before. I gotta get down into there still because there's still grime, but that really just goes under this cover anyway. But everything else turned out pretty brand new looking. Let's see if you can tell the part I've cleaned on the steering wheel and the part I haven't. Look at that line. Honestly guys, I'm just using this nonsense stuff I know you're not supposed to use it on leather really, but I'm just so grossed out by all this that I just want to do anything to get it off. And look at how it's turning out. When cleaning the steering wheel, I found it helpful to put the cloth behind the steering wheel and then spray directly on the front of the steering wheel. Any excess would be caught by the cloth and that would just ensure that I hit every surface on the steering wheel just to make sure everything gets cleaned up because I really like a clean steering wheel and I think in this case the results do speak for themselves. Okay, that's looking much, much better. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot drive a car with a hideously dirty steering wheel with a bunch of sticky garbage all over it. This feels almost brand new. Uh, hopefully this door is not as bad, but really it's 
I mean, with the doors and everything, it's looking pretty good. And I also found this. So my return mileage was going to be 103,000. And we're at 100,700 something. Um, but you see here, the return date is uh, October, August 2018. So this oil's probably three years old from 2017. So, but at least I know who to call to get that, uh, the service records, if any. So I'll see what they have. And uh, hopefully they've done a timing belt on this thing, which would be ideal.